Hey guys, doing a few new things for this video. The first of which you may notice is that today I will be skeletonizing an entire skeleton instead of just a skull or two. This is something I've done several times if you dig deep enough into my Instagram account, at Flockens Taxidermy, but I've never done a time lapse of one before. Second thing you may notice is that I'm experimenting with video editing and wanted to try a video with commentary. If that's not your thing, feel free to mute the video, but be sure to give feedback in the comments. I believe that every time-lapse video I do gets a little better as I experiment with angles, timing, and beetle keeping, but I have a lot to learn. For this video I found that propping the back of the egg crate up gave a much better angle of the dragon for filming. Believe it or not, for this video I did what I could to slow down the beetles. When it comes to a full animal skeleton, if your beetles eat too voraciously or for too long, they will eat the connective tissue between the bones and the entire skeleton will fall to pieces into a big puzzle. I posed this dragon purposefully, and I'd like to keep its pose as close as I can throughout the whole process to hopefully save me some work. One of the ways I subtly slowed the beetles was the stacking of the egg crate. If you noticed in past videos, there was a few less layers. The higher the food source is, the longer it takes beetles to get up there and eat it. This of course was helped along by the food I hid in the layers. At the beginning of the time lapse, I placed a boiled egg or two under the egg crate. The beetles love eggs, and because it has a little more moisture than the corpse I dried out, it held them off a little. Another way I can kind of direct beetles is by spraying down and moistening the meaty bits I want them to focus on. You've probably noticed that they've been chowing down on mostly the thick end of the tail. Well, I wanted them to start eating other areas before they ate too much of the tail, or it might fall off. This had an unintended consequence. As I sprayed the dragon, the egg crate got a little wet and bent a little because it was propped up in the back. While it kind of makes the egg crate rock back and forth, throughout the video depending on the weight distribution of the beetles, I don't think it will affect the ending product too much. Hopefully the dragon will still stand straight. Another thing I'm still trying to figure out how to do well is my time markers. It could be boring and have the camera timestamp on the bottom right corner, but I like a better visual than that. These sticks are better than methods I've previously used, but I'm thinking maybe I can get a small analog clock or something similar to better see the passage of time. Anyways, here at the 14 hour mark, I was getting really paranoid that the beetles were going to eat through and destroy that tail, so I stuck an entire possum skull under the egg crate. This kept them very occupied and continued eating at a pace I was more comfortable with. Basically every time you see a new time marker, I add a new egg. I'd rather have a project take a lot longer and be stinkier than put together a 3D puzzle. Oh right, I haven't mentioned this before, but dermestid beetles stink. Unfortunately, this video will not end with a finished product. This is just the time lapse. This lady dragon will have an update in the future with how I'm going to finish cleaning, whitening, positioning, and ultimately framing in some kind of display. At this point, I noticed there was still fresh meat under the legs, so I cut some more leg skin off, which now you can see they have access to and are devouring.
and this brings us to just about two days. I was scared to leave it in the main beetle chamber for any longer than that, or the entire thing may have started to disassemble. So this is what the beardy will look like for now. I'm going to put her on the cooling shelf to let a smaller number of beetles slowly pick out the meat between the toes. Stay updated by subscribing to this YouTube channel to see what this lady will look like once finished.